Hi, I'm Chris from the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on satellite internet options. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, news and activity and excitement in the satellite internet world and most of this stuff is still years off but it's kind of fun to talk about it, hear what progress is being made and so forth. So here's an update as of uh, June 2017 on the state of next generation satellite. So the first satellite option I want to talk about is a Viasat. They had the launch of a Viasat 2 on uh, early June um, 2017. This is going to be the world's most powerful single communication satellite once it comes into service um, early 2018. It's still got a long way to climb to orbit and be provisioned. But um, this is a big, giant, huge satellite that will be in geostationary orbit 23,000 miles over the equator and just has a lot of capability in one single satellite. Um, the other, you know, Viasat is uh, the company behind Exceed, and so this will power the next generation of Exceed service, and we have hopes and some hints that they might actually enable mobile users when this comes online next year. The different type of satellites are the low Earth orbit constellations, so LEO satellites. So instead of having satellites 23,000 miles away that you have to aim a dish very, very precisely to communicate with, low Earth orbit satellites, instead of being in a fixed place, are in constant motion much lower down. And the most well-known low Earth orbit constellation is called Iridium. The Iridium network has 66 satellites, uh, about 700 or so miles up, and they're all spinning in orbit so that there's usually at least one overhead and providing satellite service. And Iridium is known for satellite phones that work anywhere in the globe. Now, the Iridium system is old technology. It was first designed um, in the 90s, first entered service in the late 90s, and has um, was primarily focused on voice. Now, Iridium is right now in the process of upgrading all of their satellites to what they're calling Iridium Next. These new next generation satellites will have more support for, for data services, next generation voice, and still global coverage. But it's a big job to replace 66 satellites in orbit. And Iridium just this just this week had their second launch um, of 10 satellites on a SpaceX booster. Um, so they're uh, two out of eight launches um, planned. Uh, towards replacing their entire in-space network. Um, so that's the update on Iridium. Their next generation services built around this, will, again, will be coming in 2018. They still have a lot more launches to get the rest up there. Now, these are the kind of current state-of-the-art stuff. There's some other satellite updates that are really kind of almost blow your mind amazing. So the first one is OneWeb. OneWeb is a company actually backed by billionaire uh, Richard Branson um, and signed up a lot of other uh, investors. And they are setting out to build a low Earth orbit constellation with 700 satellites, not the 66 like Iridium. And Iridium's focused on, even once their next generation systems deployed, about megabyte, megabyte and a half speeds. Um, you know, OneWeb is aiming for 50 megabits per second worldwide with these 700 satellites and because it's low earth orbit instead of geostationary you get 25 30 milliseconds or 50 millisecond ping times as opposed to 600 millisecond ping times um, one web announced just uh, this month a major milestone in towards their getting into the air is they've gotten the fcc license to bring their service to america and actually begin the launches they're beginning they're hoping to start launching in 2018 they have going to take a lot of launches to get 700 satellites up and by 2019 they hope to have enough to begin service um, up in alaska and further north points places that have never had reliable broadband before so pretty exciting still 2019 is the earliest we'll see anything from OneWeb. and then the next one is spacex um, SpaceX has been talking for years about plans to build a next generation, truly a global um, broadband system. And they've been in their filing to get their own FCC license. They've been revealing more and more details of what they're planning to build. The latest updates from SpaceX is they're actually starting with a first phase that would be 800 satellites, very similar to OneWeb, followed by ramping that up to 1,600 satellites that would complete what they consider phase one and rolling out service globally. 
then immediately going into a phase two where they'll up the total number of satellites to over 4,000 in their low earth orbit network to provide, they're sh shooting for gigabit per second, up to gigabit per second surface anywhere on the planet, which is pretty amazing. And just this very recently, SpaceX revealed in another FCC filing that that's not where they're stopping. They're hoping to do a very low Earth orbit uh, constellation with 7,000 satellites that will be at an even lower altitude, just 150, 200 miles above the Earth. Um, nothing like that has ever been uh, dreamed of before, and particularly if you consider there's only around 1,600 satellites total in orbit right now from all countries and all providers. having this many new communication satellites uh, going into orbit is going to drastically change the game. Now, SpaceX is hoping before the end of 2017 to launch a single prototype satellite to test their technology, do a second launch in 2018 to further test their technology, and they wouldn't even begin to start launching um, the backbone of their network until 2019, with no service probably not likely until 2020. But some really exciting things coming down the pike with a satellite. All of this is down the pike though. If you want satellite internet options today, HughesNet Gen 5 is out there. We've been covering the news from the first time it launched um, last November um, to the service went live April 1st. And now we're hearing from several RVers who've gotten mobilized HughesNet Gen 5. So you can't get this directly from HughesNet, but if you go through a reseller, you can get HughesNet Gen 5 service enabled to be mobile and this is a big tripod setup you've got to set it up takes around 20 30 minutes each location you go to to set up and aim the satellite um, but gen 5 we're hearing reports from the field of getting 50 megabits per second down and 3 megabits per second up which is actually faster than HughesNet promise their uh, advertised speed is only 25 megabits per second so that's pretty exciting to have that sort of service anywhere you go in North America or in the United States right now that is available today and fairly affordable. So we've got, here's the update on the current state of satellite and some of the exciting things to look forward to in the years ahead.